glad the shadows allow us to mainly break without upwards thrusters. Oh, but I'm first as well. Anyway, hopefully, we'll may at least have to find out what's going on.
this bendo magazine. This one I'm thinking about this being the main one. This ship is still going to jam from there to the left. We are on the moon. What is this? Just back spots, okay. And we have a view of the moon, that's nice. So our theory is basically that the highest point here should always be visible or have direct line to the sun. Except when it gets behind that planet, I guess. I guess that makes okay sense that both of those plans are on in line with the Earth. Oh, with the Sun. That, that they're all in a plane. I mean, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. And I'm not sure that really makes sense. It's just that it, well, it could be that they are in a plane doesn't really matter. Seems like the sun is going behind that planet, so... It does seem like it will pick this direct route around. So if we placed solar panels up here, they should always be charged by the sun. And since we're on the moon, there shouldn't be any atmosphere here, so... That's not some big bit of air that it, the sun rays needs to get through. So this is probably perfect. Mm, shall we just just put the down in the Oh, and there's no gravity here. Of course. Well, since we have our welder here, why don't we weld this up? Oh, 
turn the temperature on, please. Thank you. And turn the bullets on, of course. Okay. So we are blocking the sun a bit there. This, at least when the sun gets further in its path and it's directly on here, it should be at full charging. It is just directly behind that planet now. Weird that we don't see a shadow or anything, but well, we can just model everything in the game, so I guess. Should we add a docking port to this so we can actually charge our ship? I mean, why not? We are here now. Just thought of how it is. I guess we do. Let's do that. This is nothing permanent. It's just me. Just uh, me trying to remove that my ship is heavy. And we don't have a lot of forwards for us to do. I thought we'd do some things. Of course, if we put our ship down there, we block the dang solar panel. So this is not what we want. Just get rid of some stuff here. And yeah, at least they're getting more than the output. And this seems to be pretty close to full charging, so that's nice. Let's just do this. Solar panel. It is at max output almost. Apparently max output changes, so that's a bit weird. Is that see that someone what its actual max output is nope oh. but I'm pretty happy with it that's just well maybe we should start building a base it is a bit early if we find out that nope this is not the exact spot that we want to be and the North Pole is maybe on that mountain over there instead, and that will block our sun at some point. But honestly, this looks to be pretty close to this other piece of planets. It just did just pass behind that one. Mm. I'm feeling like this is great. But, well, Let's go and have a look at this ice down here. Just see how deep it is, not very deep. Is it gonna be a chore just to get ice out of this? That would be annoying. I really want an ice lake or something like that. Do we get rock from this? A stone, yes we do. We need to remember to not run out of 
hydrogen here. And this looks somewhat like a leak. So I guess it might be possible to actually get some rubber ice out of this. That's good. Having fun on the moon is great. Just need to remember where our ship is. Oh, I guess we could just fly out to the mothership, but where's the fun in that? Could also just bring the mothership down. Actually, why don't we do that while we wait for the sun to move anyway? Because that's not the most exciting job in the world. Out of the gravity again, nice. And we need to make sure we don't just crash into our mothership. Should we bring down these sh ships separately? Nah, I believe in the mothership. I guess when we bring this down we could just go explore with the mine ship to see if we actually have any resources around or if we will have to go closer to the queen.
fine, good. Go up in again. Look at how long in the shadow of that solar panel is. That just makes me even more confident that we found the right spot. I mean, those mountains over there might also be close or maybe even better, but as long as the sun is not blocked by those, then it's pretty fine. safe for the next episode but we can just have a look at this for now I'm pretty sure that is correct basically any small elevation here should cover all this so it might be in slightly angled wrong because this shadow should basically cover this whole thing but that could both be a problem with the game or just me angling it wrong of course so yeah it does look like it's a bit far up on that side which means that it will be a bit far down on this side which might mean that it's covered by this I think this is a fine landing spot, but I think we do need to take our mining ship and go do some scouting of resources. Because at least it doesn't look like there's a mother much around here. So we might need to go on long trips to get resources, which I don't really like, obviously. Again, I will reload back later, so... This seems to be the edge of the hole, or at least the ice region. So maybe it isn't that far. Do we see any resources in this direction? Maybe we need to go up to spot stuff easily. Well, there's some discoloration there, maybe that means something. That definitely looked look, look like gold. Silicon on the ground. Ice, magnesium. So there's stuff down here. Further from the boat. up again. Just have a look here. There's also some discoloration here. And over there. So let's see what's around here. 
to the Grand Magnesium. More of the same stuff, okay. So we could do something like make a mining base here, which we could then go and transport the refined resources from, if we wanted to. But let's see if we can find something closer to the main, or the mothership, and the co cobalt, iron, nickel. Well, at least that's the, at least I think that's what this is, these discolorations is for finding resources, because if I just go to this area, for example, I don't think we'll see any resources under this. At least not close to the surface. Nope. Let's go back a bit. Do we see any other colors? Not really. So it seems like we do need to get a bit away from the ice for those deposits. But honestly, it's not too bad. That's like five kilometers closer than the closest asteroid we used. Mm. Of course, there's gravity involved here, so that makes it a bit worse. But mm. I think full day-night cycle with light all of the time, or sun all the time, is better than being close to resources. Well, there is nickel and cobalt. Oh, there's a discolored thing right here. Well, maybe there's more than... Maybe I was wrong all this time. It is harder to see the resources, though, between all this blue. Or maybe that's just me. Hmm. Oh well. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So, thank you all for joining me. And I will see you next time. Bye.